You can see here we've got a really old wisteria, um, clearly from the shape of the trunk and how big it is. It's been here a very long time. Um, quite often people are quite afraid to prune something like this because they think they're going to kill it. Uh, wisteria are a very hardy plant, um, as with things like your grapevines, you're going to have to do a lot of you know, a lot of very hard pruning to do any damage to these. They are you know, more than likely going to come back, so don't panic if you do have to do one of these. Um, the key is, if you look at this, this is a one year old growth. This was probably six foot long. In the summer, we'll prune back to about five buds, which will take it to here. The reason why we do that is A, to shorten up the growth, because obviously they become a big tangled mess, and B, it actually encourages a second flowering. Now that doesn't happen every year, but quite often, once you've done that prune, it will then send out a second flower, so you get double the value for your plant. In our winter prune, as you can see, we've taken these buds back shorter. Um, the reason being is that actually we're trying to encourage these nice little spurs to form, and these are what your flowers are gonna come from. So we'll normally prune these back to two buds or possibly one bud in the winter. If you live in a colder region, you can leave a few more buds on um, just in case you get any really hard frosts. Um, if you continually do that and you open up the structure and you take out any dead material, so like this, good example, remove that, you'll then get a beautiful plant with these beautiful long spurs that come out and a really lovely structure. Um, one thing to be aware of on wisteria, which can be a common mistake, you can see a branch like this and you think that might be dead, okay? I mean, if you look at it, well right, it should be. Um, but Wisteria is actually a very, very good at remaining alive, even with a lot of dead material like this on the plant. So if you then follow a stem that looks dead, back to the tips, so we follow this along. As we're coming through, we can see that actually what we've got here is fresh growth. So don't make the mistake of just cutting a stem off because it looks dead without checking it properly first because quite often they'll be absolutely fine and continue flowering for many years to come.